Well, good evening, church, and uh, welcome to our time together again. As we enter into this Easter season that we're about to go into tomorrow, um, you're going to hear that the message and the, the theme that we felt like God really put on our hearts for this Easter is the message of hope. Um, and I want to actually share to you with you tonight from John chapter 14. It's Jesus speaking, and he literally said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Church, this Easter season, I believe, is about the hope of Christ, how he wants to speak to us and instill in us the life and the hope that only can come through him. And then he goes on to say this, In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have, to I would have told you. But I go to prepare a place for you. I believe, church, that as he was entering into that first Easter as he was about to suffer and die. He did so knowing what he had just declared a few chapters before. And he had said that I have to go to prepare a place for you because if he didn't go, we couldn't actually be here today. And then he goes on in verse three and it says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself for that where I am, you may be also. And then a few verses later in verse six, he declares this powerful statement and he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Church, as we go into this Easter season, let's remember that Jesus had to die. So as we remember his sacrifice, his death, and his burial, we remember that he actually had to do that in order for the resurrection to happen, for even the ascension when he went back to heaven. He did so because he went to prepare a place for you and I. This Easter season, as we're entering into this weekend, I want you, church, to remember that he did this on purpose. He prepared a place for us so that he literally says, so that where I am, he is seated now in heavenly places. And it says in Ephesians that we are seated with him. He did this to give us the hope that we can be with him, not just in eternity, but he's inviting us through this Easter season to remember that he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. Church, that is hope in a nutshell, that we can trust him, that we can believe in him, that we can remember him, that we can gather around this weekend remembering the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Church, tonight, do not let your hearts be troubled, as Jesus said, but take hope, take heart. He has overcome the world and he has invited us into this incredible moment where we can come and we can gather around and remember that it's only through his sacrifice that we can have life today. Church tonight, be blessed, be full of hope. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's focus our undivided attention on him this glorious Easter weekend. It may be an Easter you'll never forget because things look different right now. But Jesus is alive and well today and is there for you. He's ready to meet with you right there where you are in this Easter season and give you the hope of glory that is only found in Jesus Christ. Church, be blessed tonight. Remember, the hope of Jesus is there for you. Thank you, church, and have a good night. We'll see you all tomorrow morning for Good Friday at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm.